Hey guys, Troy here and excited in this video to share with you the latest release from Seller.Tools and that is our Listing Quality Score or LQS. This is a completely free feature you're going to find through the Seller.Tools Chrome extension. So whether you're on a Seller Tools trial, you've already used your trial, you're on a paid plan, all you need is your credentials, your username and password. You're going to plug that into the Seller Tools Chrome extension to unlock access to this powerful feature. And I'm excited to share it with you because it answers that question that I have, I'm sure you ask all of the time is how does my listing stack up? Is there any missed potential room for getting more traffic, realizing more conversions and getting more sales on Amazon? So I'm going to share with you an example. We're going to break down exactly where you're going to find LQS and how to utilize it to its fullest. So on this detail page, on this listing, what you're going to notice, when you get access to the Chrome extension is the addition here of LQS and a breakdown of a score out of a thousand. We really thoroughly analyze product detail pages for you to give you these powerful insights. When we click on it, we're going to get the detailed breakdown here of what makes up the total listing quality score. Again, out of a thousand, we can see the current score for this listing is 663. Let's find out exactly where that missed potential is. And this is what you're going to want to know for your listings as well. We've got three different specific sections that we look at. We have keyword quality score, we have media quality score, and then conversion quality score. We're gonna walk through each one of these and feel free to refer to the question mark here for a more detailed breakdown um, as you're utilizing this feature and this tool yourself. So starting with keyword quality score, this really breaks down. We know the importance of keywords, uh, doing thorough, uh, hopefully expert level keyword research through Tools. And how do you use those keywords and optimize your listings with those keywords and keyword phrases? Now let's go ahead and break down how we arrived at this current score. So if we look at the different listing elements, we'll start with the title to see if they meet our minimum or best practice for uh, character count here. So we can see title checks out, it does meet our minimum, but very clear, and you'll see these little indications here when there is missed opportunities, when a listing is suboptimal and those specific sections. So we can see for our bullet points, all five are under our recommended 400 character count. So really great opportunity here to take better advantage of that real estate. As we scroll down, we can see the same for description A plus and EBC content, currently 3,446 characters but not meeting our recommended minimum of 4,000 characters. Now I want to highlight this too, because this is where on the fly and in real time, we know a lot of sellers are still stuck manually checking keywords uh, and their index status, something we don't do. We do this automatically for you at Seller Tools. But when you're doing this here in real time, this is really slick and you're going to love this powerful feature. What we can do is for each element, we can check the index status of the keywords that are utilized or that we utilize for our own listings. You know, start to see this listing being illuminated and green being keywords that we are indexed for and red for those that we are not. So as it scrolls through, looking good. So far, so good. Again, we know for bullet points, we are not using as much real estate as we possibly could in terms of the incorporation of keywords. But this lets us know, okay, for those that we are using, are we at least indexed in Amazon's catalog? And I'm gonna go through the rest of these and make sure what's most important is at least we know, no guessing games, no wondering, is my competition you know, out outpacing me, doing something in a superior way? These insights are immensely valuable. So I'm starting to see a lot more red tick up for this listing. And what's also standing out for me as somebody who used to sell a vitamin C serum product is there some keywords in here that make up some key ingredients for this product that I would love to be indexed for? This may start informing, okay, cool, I've optimized my listing. Hopefully I'm not just setting it and forgetting. I wanna know how I'm performing and this index visibility lets me know, okay, there are some keywords in here that I want to be indexed for at, at minimum, uh, let alone start to rank, positively rank for, but you won't know that unless you complete these steps and let these insights be so obvious to you as you run LQS on your own listing. Really powerful to again, let you know. And these little indicators are just sort of a way of saying, okay, what should I be doing next? What activities should I be prioritizing to make sure my listing is as optimal as it can be? So whether it's bullet points, 
description and A plus, uh, A plus or EBC content. As I scroll down here, you can see the same and additional insights. Anything that stands out, any red that pops up for keywords or phrases that I should be focusing on. Damage, blend. And again, some of these may not be as crucial, but it's important to at least know, to really see how you're performing at that keyword level and having those clear indications that LQS then provides us. Lastly, we also look at subcategory. Are you using at least one subcategory and then multiple categories as a recommendation? A really solid best practice, broaden your visibility across Amazon's catalog um, and meeting that recommended uh, to minimum. And that starts to inform. Now, our listing quality score ticked up a little bit based on, again, the index visibility but still a lot of room here, a lot of meat on the bone to be able to really run this listing optimally. And I did pick one, you may have noticed, that is Amazon's choice for a hyper-competitive keyword. So even though they may be doing good, where's the room, where's the potential of getting every little bit out of that listing? More eyeballs, more traffic, more conversions, that listing quality picture starts to get painted and we're not left guessing. So I'm gonna collapse that for now because we're gonna also look at media quality. Now we can see here where we are missing, whether it's the use of all the images, the image count uh, potential on this listing. Again, we can see here, this will mirror the use of high resolution images if we're only using six out of the possible nine. Uh, even if our main image does meet the uh, high resolution um, uh, best practice there. Video on image seven, again, a really great way to optimize a listing. Uh, currently that is not the case. No related video shorts. I'm going to save us the scroll, but as we know, related video shorts a little bit further down product detail page. We can see we're not meeting the at minimum one video for this listing. Valuable activity there. And we've already taken a look at the uh, A plus content to know that that is on place, uh, in place in this listing. Then finally, conversion quality score. Let's say, again, we're welcoming all this traffic, all these eyeballs on our listing. What's the chance that's, got, that's gonna convert to meaningful sales and hopefully at scale? So let's break this down for pricing. Move this over. Running a promotion, currently running one, ideally running up to three. We are using a sales price on this listing. No coupons in place. Uh, even using a single coupon, great way to further optimize. Questions, now as we know, more built out product detail page, uh, customers or potential customers spending more time driving page interactions. We know that has a positive rank benefit. This listing is killing it, but making sure that your listing uh, is optimal there on the questions front. We also detail and thoroughly review ratings and reviews, making sure meeting the a minimum 4.2 stars or above, minimum number of reviews. Now without question, this listing's doing uh, absolutely awesome. How does your listing stack up? We take a look at that as well. Top reviews, recommended that we have at least five. Top reviews with image or video, missed opportunity here. So image, video, asset rich reviews. This again, lets you know what you should be encouraging, welcoming potentially from customers. Uh, we may use other strategies, many chat comes to mind to own that customer journey and that interaction and encouraging uh, those types of uh, reviews as is possible. Top positive and top critical review. While we're doing great on the positive review, Top critical review, if we click over, we can see, and this is a, not a really great review to have in this prime real estate of top critical review of a scam. Yeah, that should really give you, give you a good idea um, of where there may be some, some potential here to further optimize, uh, to take more advantage of that real estate on the listing. You'd come up with a number of ideas, but again, having these insights here at a glance in real time is immensely beneficial. Lastly, we'll look at reviews from other countries to see again, are, is our top review five stars when it comes to other countries? And then is uh, top reviews that include image or video? How are those stacking up as well? So really excited to share this with you. This gives you immediate actionable insights on the fly in real time to be able to make the most impact, the greatest difference. I'm curious to know, how does your listing stack up? Run LQS, find out exactly where those opportunities lie. Is your listing all good to go? Give yourself that peace of mind, but take full advantage of LQS as a free feature. Again, all you need is seller tools, credentials, username, password, whether you're on a trial, already used your trial completely, or you're on a paid plan, plug it into the Chrome extension 
Get access to LQS today and find out exactly how your listing stacks up.